y'all, Ileana Soul Dragon. We're back with another part of Let's Play Star Stable. So, let's continue with Jasper Scarecrow. <clears throat> Where'd he go? Have you heard? It's terrible. The Scarecrow has come to life again and disappeared. It isn't in the pumpkin field. Travelers in the area say they've seen it hanging around and scaring people all the way from here to Golden Leaf Forest. You think you can catch it and put him back out in the field again? Let's go. Oh, hello there. I'm gonna hit the darn it. Oh, I need to put it back in the field. There. It's back where it's supposed to be again. I hope it stays put and doesn't run away again. The only thing it needs to do is sit there and look scary. How hard can that be, really? Huh. Well, of course, Liliana. Of course it's gonna turn out like this. That darn scarecrow. What am I gonna do now? Should I just stand here and guard my pumpkins myself while all this these hideous birds gorge themselves silly every time my back's turned? This new scarecrow is no use at all. Completely useless. Just like everything else these days. Soon the birds will be back, feasting on my beautiful pumpkins again. Those flying vermin have no respect for an old man. Ileana, when I was a boy, birds knew how to behave themselves. It was better in those days. Which isn't a surprise, because everything was better back then. Everything. Hm. Don't look so happy, Ileana. Don't you dare come here and make fun of me, otherwise I'll show you what's what. Hm. What do you mean you just want to help? Hm. Well, if you're so fixed on the idea of helping, you could write the pie and tell her I want to order a new scarecrow from her. One well, that moves in is just as scary, if not scarier than those at Scarecrow Hill. Not lazy and unreliable one like mine. My new scarecrow needs to understand respect. I don't want any more such insufferable types on my farm. And tell Pie that my new scarecrow should only attack birds and nothing else. That's very important. My legs aren't what they used to be, so I don't want it to be chased around by some deranged monster. Tell Pie that. You know where she lives, over in the middle of that miserable swamp. Now you have to get going. I'm sure I just heard something cough. Off you go. <clears throat> oh, um, I realized yesterday that I never finished um, playing We Will Get There. Don't run into the fence. I did not press that. Gosh darn it. Okay, so, uh, why not? This is, we will get there, you already know. Oh, that isn't updated. How lovely to have a visitor. I don't get many of those these days. So Jasper wants a scarecrow. Like the ones up at Scarecrow Hill. Well, it was me who made those scarecrows magic, if you remember. So it shouldn't be difficult. There's only one problem. As you may remember, I wasn't exactly the kind-hearted beauty you see before you when I cast those spells. In fact, I was rather evil and mean. And green. I didn't really pay attention to how awful the bewitchments and curses I was casting actually were. But now all my magic has a firm basis in ecological and ethical responsibility. 
I've actually been thinking about applying to to have my special brand of vegan witchcraft ISO certified. You understand now, don't you? I've stopped mixing brews and potions with frog eyes and bat wings and new legs. Now I use ingredients from the herbal and plant kingdoms. It works well as before, but some of my old spells are unusable, so I have to come up with new ones each time I want to do some magic. It's probably doable, but I need to give it some thought. Could you be a darling and fetch me a cup of organic swamp tea? It always gets my brain cells fired up. The whole cauldron over there is full of it, so just take my cup and fill it up. I'm not sure if you have to do this, but I'm doing it just in case. Ah, swamp tea. Now I can see the pieces falling into place. The first thing we need to do is build the scarecrow. When that's done, we can start thinking about the magic spell. We need a sack. Easy, you say? It certainly isn't as easy as you think, Eliana. I can't make scarecrows from just any old random sack. Obviously, I need a sack from certified fair trade materials worn by people with ethical working conditions. Otherwise, I'm afraid I won't be able to use it. Where you'd find a sack like that? Ask Jasper. You might know. We need hay to stuff the scarecrow. As luck would have it, I know where you can find the exact hay I need. Karen at Golden Leaf Stables only uses organic hay, guaranteed by the to be biodynamically grown. If you ask her nicely, she'll probably give you a bale. If she doesn't give you any, tell her I'll turn her into a cockroach. Mmm, actually that's not very nice. Sorry, Eliana. Sometimes my old personality creeps back in. Tell Karen I'd be very grateful she could ply a bale of her lovely hay. Forget anything I said about cockroaches. To be able to make a scarecrow, we need rope. I don't know about very much about rope, but the fisherman over in Cape West Village knows all about it. So you can find someone there who'd be able to help. Don't forget about it being equal-friendly rope without preservatives, additives, or any other weird stuff. Okay. Um, I will continue playing the music. Of course I've got a sack. A sack made from certified fair trade materials woven by people with ethical working conditions? What the is this nonsense you're talking about? What is that you said again? A sack made from certified fair trade materials woven by people with ethical working conditions. Why would I have one of those? My regular old sack's not good enough. Only a fancy smanchy luxury sack would do for little fancy princess Eliana, eh? What's wrong with the proper old sack made by my own hands made from linen I've grown myself? I even got some kind of stupid certificate in ugly stamp from the council to say it's equal friendly whatever gibberish they came out with. Regular old handmade sex are obviously, obviously not enough for a sniffy Miss Fancy Witch. Hmm. What? That sounds exactly like the kind of sack she's after? Why didn't you say so? Uh, I've got hundreds of sacks over there in the barn. Take one, but show it to me first. I want you to take one of my best sacks just so that witch can strut around and show it off. Those sacks are in one of the boxes over there. Here's this crowbar to nail open them up. Now we can gather properly so no thieves could steal my sacks. Jeez, I'm. I really don't like him. Jasper is very annoying. Da 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 da. Open. Hmm. So you found a sack. I see it. 
Uh, take the second and get out of here. Can't be bothered with any of this nonsense anymore. I need to focus on my pumpkin patch, otherwise those darn birds will gobble up every last pumpkin while my back is turned. What are you doing still standing there? Take the sack to pie. <laughs> Alright then. Cape West, here we go. Oh, I wanted to check out this. Like, Muddy's here. Look how cute she is. Okay. Now I'll continue. <laughs> So that was uh, We Will Get There by Elisa Peterson. Pretty cool. Um, eh, I'll start playing another one. This is The Time Is Now by Elisa Peterson from Star Stable. Hello there, Liana. You'd like some rope, you say? Well, I'm sure we can arrange that. You came to the right person for rope, Liana. Nobody knows more about rope than me. If you just help me with what little problem I've been having, I'd happily give you any rope you want. What is it I need help with, you ask? Oh, there's been a small disaster. My very first fishing lure has disappeared. Without it, my very best, not first. I never catch any fish, so I'm sure you'll understand just how important it is. What happened? Well, here's how it was. I was in the harbor, fishing as normal. Then I saw a really huge fish over there by the boat, where the boat comes in. Imagine if that's the flounder of terror, I'd said to myself. I thought it catching such a huge, I thought it catching such a huge fish was too much. I told myself I'd try and catch it, so I threw out the line as far as I could. But I slipped and fishing line went flying along with my best lure. I tried to see where it was, la where it landed, but it was hopeless. Off it went, flying the air faster than a rabbit eel. Rabbit eel. Seems like it flew off in the direction of the village. I looked all over the fishing village for it. Searching like a crazy seal. But it's been fruitless. The lure is lost without a trace. It's almost as though it grew legs and walked off. Otherwise, I'm sure I'd have found it by now. If you could find it for me, I'd give you as much rope as you want. Do you think you can help me? Fantastic. I knew I could rely on you, Ileana. Come back when you found my lure. Uh, I'll go ahead and... You found it. Wonderful. What kind of rope is it you needed? You want a completely eco-friendly rope? Are you sure? You've got the chance to choose absolutely any kind of rope. So you sure you don't want a proper indestructible rope made of titanium and silk? Or a priceless rope made from gold and diamonds? Okay, I won't force you. If you decided it's eco-friendly rope you want, it's eco-friendly rope you'll get. Now let's see here. There you go. 12 feet of rope, made from locally sourced seaweed. It's not very strong and smells pretty bad, but it's more eco-friendly rope but a more eco-friendly rope than this, you'll struggle to find. Hope you get good use out of it. See ya. Okay, now let's go over to Karen. Karen? Meh.
Hello there, Liana. What can I do for you on a beautiful day like today? You'd like a halo, you say? Well, that shouldn't be a problem. But you'll have to help me with something first. Just now, a truck arrived with this week's delivery of hay, but a whole bunch of the bailiffs toppled off the truck as it was coming over the bridge from the fishing village. The driver, some dork named JB, said he had to swerve to avoid a giant seal that was attacking his vehicle. As JB said, he had to leave immediately for another delivery. But the bales of hay are still bobbing in the water by the bridge. If you'd be a gym and collect them from the water for me, we can take one of them for yourself. Sounds like a deal? Lovely. Hurry, though, before the hay bales flood out to sea. Now I'll put the music back on. Thanks for all your help, Eliana. Great work. He has a hay bale, as agreed. What do you want for it? What do you want it for, by the way? You're giving it the pie, you say? Mm, are you sure that's a good idea? Can you really trust her? Well, I suppose you know her better than I do. <clears throat> take the hay bale to pie. See you later. I'm going to take the trailer because I just can't. Uh, Jasper. Ooh, it's been about 20 minutes. Okay, um, hopefully I can finish this song. That was the time is now. I'm not gonna play any more music. Come on. No, 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 no. I hate the swamp. I hate it. I really do. I hate coming here. No. You found a sack? Are you sure it's made from certified fair trade materials woven by people with ethical working conditions? Jasper made it himself and it's got the council's organic and ecological seal, you say? Well, then that's just perfect. Oh look, you found some rope. It smells vile. That must mean it's truly super eagle-friendly. Did I just say eagle-friendly? Good work, Ileana. <clears throat> I see you got a bale of hay from Karen. Hey, uh, you didn't say anything about me threatening to turn into a cockroach, right? You didn't? Great. And she needs some time. Uh, I still have some time. Let's go do the trail ride with um, Sonia and Luciana. That is her name, right? Luciana? And Emma. Ba -da -ba. Steve. Steve. There we are.
if her name is Luciana. Hi, Ileana. Have you heard of the Red String Trail in Fergrove? The Red String Trail is a spring tradition in Yorick. Friends ride the trail together and seal their bond by tying a string at the summit of the mountain. Luciana and I are on our way there. You should totally come with us. Oh yes, Sirio and I would be honored to tie the string with Ileana and Bright Dreamer. Will you join us? Please say yes. I'd be honored. <laughs> uh, I can't do that one. Count me in. Great. This will be so much fun. But what about Emma and Mudskipper? We can't ride without them. She just texted that she'll meet us at the bridge. She's running late. Again. The trail overhead can be a bit tricky to find. Let me just pull up my GPS. That won't be necessary. Sirio, I believe you know the way. <laughs> Is there anything your horse can't do, Luciana? Hmm, I don't know. It's never come up. Oh, I love Luciana. Okay. Let's just follow these two. You can only talk. Hmm. And we go this way. Oh, they're slowing to a walk. This is where Emma told us to meet her, so why aren't she and Muddy here? <clears throat> We've been planning this ride ever since the open house. Where can Emma be? Emma is just Emma. She will be here, I'm sure of it. Her clock has just wound a little differently. You're right, of course. But I was really hoping that she'd take our friendship seriously enough to be on time. The red string trail is quite strenuous. As long as we are waiting, we should make sure the horses are properly tacked for the ride. Great. <clears throat> Oh, goodness. Great idea, Luciana. How about we check all check each other's saddles just to be safe? Sound good, Ileana? Mm-hmm. Oh, you mean I'll check everyone's saddle. <sighs> and... I think your name is Casper? That's different than the horse you ride at Silverglade. And, of course, Sirio. Beautiful as always. <laughs> a horse's comfort should always come first. Sirio and Casper are most grateful for the extra set of eyes looking out for them. Still no Emma. I guess we should just get st Stop the presses. No, Hi, Muddy. Emma, you are just in time. Barely. We almost left without you, you know. I'm so sorry. I just had a little something I had to take care of first. But you came down from the trail. What were you doing up there? Was I? Um, no I wasn't. You're a terrible liar. Now that we are all together, shall we begin? Let me get on, um, Dreamer. Ileana! So you're riding the red string trail with us? I love it. The more the merrier. Let's go! The Red String Trail has a very interesting history. Would you like to hear about it? Um, absolutely. Excellent. I stumbled upon the history while researching the Harvest Counties for the York Staples Open House. 
The red string of fate stems from Chinese folklore. According to myth, the gods would connect two souls destined to meet with the red string. The bond could manifest as friendship, an important life event, or even marriage. When the Li family of Stormgarden first immigrated to Yorvik from China, they heard the legends, local legends of Idine's gifts, the bond between horse and rider. The family began incorporating a red string in their tr riding tack to show their bond with their horses was faded, whether by the gods of their ancestors or by Idine. When the Li family of Stormgarden first immigrated to Yorvik from China, okay, other Yorvinians noticed the strong bond that the Li family shared with their horses, and soon everyone wanted to have a red string bond. No one knows when the first red string was tied at the top of the mountain. Over the years, more and more strings were added to collections, and the route became formalized. It was as if Destiny wanted the trail to be there. I think it's rather beautiful, don't you? Absolutely. I love history. Come on. You and Sierra are such an amazing team, Luciana. Where do you see your partnership taking you? Working equitation has always been our specialty, but I'm interested in exploring other styles of writing. I'm not usually one to pick speed over precision, but participating in the pota potato race was quite a thrill. Were it not for the mysterious Black North Swedish, Siri and I would have been contenders. I'd like to try more races. I don't know what that is. Okay. What about you and Casper, Sonia? Growing up, my family always participated in the medieval festival up in Everdale. This being Yorvik, of, <clears throat> of course horses were celebrated there. I've always thought it would be amazing to compete in mounted archery. Uh, that would be awesome. I didn't get to read the rest of that. I didn't know mounted archery was still a thing. Y'all have such amazing dreams. Me and Muddy, we just love to ride fast and jump high. I haven't thought much further than that. Do you hear something? Sheep! Sorry to bother y'all, but I don't suppose you ladies know anything about sheep herding? Oh, hello, Andy. You'll help? You're a lifesaver. If I can't get the flock back to their pen, my precious sheep will be well food. You'll probably wonder what I'm doing up here with all these sheep and no dog or horse to help herd them. As a matter of fact, it did bring some sheep herding help. A whole hint house of little shepherds, actually. I figured if, if a pig can corral a flock of sheep, why not chickens? In retrospect, not my brightest plan. But now the four of you are here. Fear not, Andy. We will have your sheep under control in no time. Alright, come on, guys. Really? You're going that way? Alright. Where are you going? Yes, yes, I'm working on it. Where's the one back there? Yes, yes, I'm well aware. Oh my gosh, where are you going? Go. That'll be two. And this is three. Cool. Now let's get the last couple. Where'd the Siana go? Come on, both of you. Come on. 
Yeah, yeah. Where are you going? Thank you. Jeez, um. Go. I'm sorry to break it to you, but most of the flock is still loose. Oh no, at this rate we'll be stuck herding sheep all day. Wait, where is Luciana? Every sheep accounted for, Andy. Such control. Such grace. You're amazing, Luciana. Sirio does all the hard work. All I have to do is stay out of his way. That horse digger is something else. I'll trade you my chickens for him. <laughs> Such a generous offer there, Aunt offer Andy, but I'm very I'm afraid I'll have I can never part with Sirio. What if I throw in a pig? No two pigs. A llama? Please It was quite fortunate that we showed up when we did to help Andy. Perhaps the red string of fate led us here. Speaking of which, the trail awaits. We are almost to the trailhead. Onward to friendship. Come on. What's up? Oh, everyone picked a different way than I did. Oh well. The red string trail starts here. If we get separated, look for the postmark of the red tag and you'll know you're on the right path. There's token. I'm I'm gonna do all of token stuff in a separate episode. Um, I'm hoping to get done with most of the other quests first. This is the perfect place to stop and get the horses a rest while everyone is resting. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna go look in those bushes over there. Not suspicious at all. <laughs> I could have sworn this is where I hid it. Hid what, Emma? Nothing. Well, not nothing. A blue duffel bag. I hid, up, I hid it up here earlier for reasons. A blue duffel bag? Like that one? You little thief! Ileana, you have to help me recover that bag. Come here. Oh. So you have to wait for the fox to run out, hmm? Okay. Nothing. Come back here. Got it. I should call the rangers and have you put in fox jail, you little thief. Now you're playing cute. Nuh uh, not having it. Your foxy mind games won't work on. Oh. It's too cute. Foxes are adorable. Thanks for helping apprehend that little bandit. Loot recovered. What's inside the bag? Uh, nothing important. Just, uh, family keepsakes. I hid them up here because I thought they could use a fresh mountain air. All that matters is that the bag is safe. Is it just me or is the sky getting darker? We should keep moving in case those storm clouds decide to break. Silly me, I forgot to pack a rain poncho. Now y'all have anything to say? Okay. Sometimes I really do hate these. Oh well. I've worked in the stable for many summers and I've watched riding clubs come and go. What do you think what do you think makes some clubs last while others just depart? Okay. 
morning. Y'all gonna talk again or what? Trust. Definitely trust. Your fellow members don't only have your back, but they're the ones you call on to take care of your horse if you're away. I would say support. Gosh darn it. Couldn't read that. I'll wait for them to get ahead of me. Starting to rain. Oh, we're a little muddy. Okay, I'm bored. Yes, of course, and positive horses too. Thank you, Muddy. What about you, Emma? Any thought about what makes a great riding club? I'm bored. Come on. Whoa. Guess I got here a little too early. Huh? Did you hear that? Landslide! Uh oh. This isn't good. The trail's completely blocked. I hope we don't have to turn back after coming this far. I was really hoping we could tie a red string today. There's no way of getting over that landslide in this weather. Maybe we should head back down the mountain and try again another day. We can't give up, Sonia. We're so close to the top. As much as my heart is with you, Emma, unless our horse is to sprout rings, there's no way to get over that landslide. What about that log over there? It looks dirty and wide enough to support a horse. Sirio and I will go first. What do you say, Sirio? Is it safe to cross? Sirio nods confidently. Sirio carefully sets one hoof in front of the other. Yes, I see you, Token. The log will hold, but just be safe. Please follow one at a time. Money and I will go Rex. Next. Ready, pal? Muddy all but skips over the log. <laughs> How adorable is that? That was scary. Eliana, you and Bright Dreamer are up. I see token. I don't care. I'm not getting it. I do love this view. I mean, look how cool that is. I was about to fall off. Excellent writing, Eliana. Bright Dreamer has nerves of steel. Now you, Sonia. Sonia? What about Sonia? Where is Sonia? Why isn't she coming? You all go ahead without me. I can't do it. I just can't. But Sonia, you're the bravest girl I know. You're not afraid of anything. Not even a tornado full of spiders would stop you. I'm afraid of heights. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm really letting you down. Do not say that, Sonia. Fears are nothing to be ashamed of. This ride is about friendship. We will turn around and ride down together. No, I have to at least try. Maybe you can give me some encouragement? Trust Casper. Find strength in your bond. Yeah, Casper doesn't seem afraid. Thank you for that advice. There you go. Honestly... <laughs> All y'all are more brave than me. Not a chance. Nope. I would slide around that rock slide. <laughs> Hurry, more encouragement. We believe in you, Sonia. Click it. Thanks, Eliana. I really do have the best friends.
There you go. I made it. Your words of encouragement really helped. You're the bravest, Sonia. My fear of heights isn't going anywhere, but at least I know I can trust which kind of my friends that lift me up. We're almost at the top. What are we waiting for? Let's finish the trail and tie our string. Yeah, please. This video is getting long. Whoa, would you look at that view? Amazing, isn't it, Casper? It is pretty cool. I kind of wish we can go over those mountains, you know? I don't have use for the flowers anymore. Y'all are behind me. Come on. Of course it is. I knew that. I want to read everything. So, where are y'all going? Seriously? That's where y'all are? Oh my gosh, y'all are slow. Which way y'all gonna go? Cool. Y'all gonna say anything else? If not, I'm going ahead. We made it. Together. I brought a string that we can use to commemorate our friendship. Eliana, would you like to pick a spot where we can tie it? Yeah, okay. Floating in the air. By tying this red string, we commit to each other that wherever our lives take us, we'll always be connected. Our bonds with our horses and each other as friends wish are sealed. I'm getting chills, you guys. What better time could there be to officially announce our new riding club? If there was ever any doubt we were meant to be in a club together, riding this trail erased it. I learned so much about you all and about myself. This feels so right. For now, it's just the three of us, but I hope we can inspire others to join us. That includes you, Eliana. Oh, we haven't even told Eliana what we decided to call ourselves yet. Can I tell her, please? Go ahead and... The Flying Foxes. Watch out, Yorick. There's a new club in town. I'm so glad you could be here to share this moment with us, Eliana. Where the heck did you go? Oh, you're down here. Wee. Stop it. Oh, I almost forgot. So about that bag I was being weird about earlier, I made something to share with you all to celebrate our new club. I was hoping to have full uniforms for everyone, but I ran out of time. Then I remembered how Sonia is always so good about remembering, reminding everyone to ride safely, starting with a good helmet. So I figured if I could only make one piece of the uniform, that'd be the best place to start. I was inspired by the Baroque designs you introduced me at the open house at Liana, Luciana. Anyway, I made you a flying fox riding helmets. Emma, I love it. The los oh, the ba -da -ba. This logo is amazing. You embroidered these yourself. You really are full of surprises, Emma. I did get a little help from Kirsty. She's like the goddess of needlework. Other riding clothes will be so jealous when they see us riding up on these. And don't think I forgot about Cereal and Casper. I made sa I'll make saddle pads for them too. It's important that they feel included. You have such a good heart, Emma. Sonia, I can't believe I almost missed the start of the ride. I'll be on time from now on, I promise. You can count on me from now on. Emma, I'm sorry I got on your case. You're my best friend. I should never have doubted your commitment. Hear that money? She said we're still besties. Ileana, I didn't know you'd be here today, but luckily you made a fourth horn helmet that you're welcome to have. That is, if you're not too embarrassed to be associated with us weirdos. Flying foxes forever. You've been a great friend. I know you've ridden with other clubs before, but remember that you're still an honorary member of the Flying Foxes for Life. Let's ride together again soon. And this is the flying fox helmet. Pretty cool. And that is that quest. Alright. Um, that is going to be it for today, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.